Hello fellow Kings fans from Port Townsend, Washington to Southern California and wherever you may be. Welcome to episode 5 of my 10 part mini series chronicling my 41 history, 41 year history as a lifelong loyal fan of the two time Stanley Cup champions, yours and my Los Angeles Kings. I'm Ray Jackson, your host. Earlier in our last episode, I was showing you my home jerseys I've been collecting over the years and uh, have been ever since I moved up here of course. Here's the other, here's one for the away jerseys, so let's get to it. Put the cheese on the cracker, let's get to it. Here's the away jersey from the 1980 through 1988, of course. These are pretty much rare to find unless you find them in throwback form, in which I do not do throwbacks or uh, any of those uh, vintage collection of retros. Uh, right here, it's a home jersey, uh, no, it's the away jersey, and as you can see here, it's nicely dubbed blank in the back as well. Maybe a couple of poles, a couple of tatters here and there. And as you can tell right here, it's got the um, Moscow US logo, of course, uh, indicator of, of CCM. They're open at, that company owned CCM back in the 80s. And you can see the, the uh, screen printed CCM logo on there. Nice finish on the King's patch, of course. It's actually embroidered and stitched on here, of course. It's not one of those cheap up the case like they uh, make now these days. Also, of course, we mentioned Wayne Gretzky uh, being uh, dealt to the Kings in 1988. Under Bruce McDowell's ownership, here is probably the most popular, if not the most sought after, Kings jersey of all, naturally, um, for some of the fans out there who came later. And of course it's black and silver. And I used to wear one of these when I first came out on stage as the Heavy Battle Warrior with my band SMF back in 1995. And back then, King's jerseys were considered hardcore. And not only did um, you know heavy metal bands were like wearing them and things like that, but so did some gang members. They really tarnished the uh, reputation of the King's jerseys back then. Be, you know, it was around the same time as the uh, L.A. Raiders. You know, they'll kill you for a starter jacket or something like that. I'm glad we don't have to worry about that anymore. And on the back here is, of course, blank, of course. And um, of course, the away jersey for the 1998-99 season through the 2002-2003 uh, season. This is the away jersey, the first one I got when they changed the new logo when Phil and Nancy and Schutz bought the team for Bruce McDowell. It's got a starter logo on the sleeve here. And like all good jerseys are, you can tell that everything is stitched on here. It's all fine texture, things like that. It's not one of those screen printed satin graphic twill logos anymore you can tell as you can hear you can hear it because you know it actually was embroidered and then applicate on the shirt jersey whatever and of course you got the starter logo here starter jerseys and jackets were really popular back in the 90s until their first demise back in 2000 and then later on now we know they're back on turf things like that also Starting in the 0304 season, the Kings, um, and as well as the rest of the NHL, had to go to lighter colors for their away jerseys and not the dark ones like they do wear at home and like they used to on the road. Here's the CCM jersey I picked up, of course, with the alternate logo. And um, they switched from the King's Shield to the Crown um, when that happened, of course. And as you can tell, here's the King's... Um, Shield logo, a coat of arms right here, of course. You can tell it's embroidered, nicely embroidered too. CCM logo, also stitched on here as well. And on the sleeve. As well as, of course, um, the NHL logo, if I can find it here. <laughs> I'll find it here, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I believe, no, the CCM, I guess, didn't use it at the particular time. Oh, well. But, uh, anyhow, then... The uh, Premier jerseys, the first ones for Reebok, then known as RBK and being manufactured by CCM. Here's the away jersey for the 2007 through 2011 season. As you can tell, it's white. It's got the Kings logo on here. It's got the nice stitch down below and things like that. You've got, of course, a Reebok jock tag right here, of course. I'll show it to you. There you go. And... Um, Here's the one thing I hate about the new Reebok jerseys, it's like everything on the patches is like, yeah, that satin twill I was talking about, the pre-printed satin twill 
that uh, unfortunately it looks like it's applicated with an iron on and things like that. I know a lot of people have been critical about the Reebok jerseys over the years. And of course, you got your Vector logo here, your NHL logo here. Hell, I don't care what people say about the jerseys. I continue to wear them to this very day, being a Kings hockey fan and everything else like that over the last 41 years. And here is its replacement away jersey from 2011 until this very day. What do you think about that, ladies and gentlemen? This was worn during our first Stanley Cup championship in 2012 and our second championship in 2014 as our away jersey. You can tell right here, it's got the Reebok script logo on here, the uh, you know lettering, of course. King Shield on the front, of course. The symbol of excellence in the National Hockey League. And uh, the NHL logo on the yoke here. Let me you know, get the little close-up here for you. And there you go. And, uh, of course, you got your Reebok jock tag right here. There you go, everybody. And, um, as you well know, as further jerseys continue to be put out by the Kings, home and away, and alternate jerseys, I will be right there to buy them through the Team LA store or through LAKings.com, of course. So you know that uh, every new jersey they get, except for the throwback ones, I will be able to purchase right there for the Kings website. So until next time, fellow Kings fans, this is Ray Jackson reminding all of you that the three most important words in the English language are Go Kings Go! Peace out, good night, enjoy the game everybody!